end of this Saturday afternoon. It's going to be a returnable kick here for Henry, who calls a fair catch. Not real good. This will be a good challenge today against the Terps. Nate Carter gets the start at running back. They flip it out to Carter in the pass game, and he crosses the 30. One of their best players on offense, without a doubt. Spartan offense, both as a runner and as a receiver. Uh, second down, give it to Carter this time in the ground game, and it is going to bring up a third and short. Call it a third and one. That's Bo Braid who made the tackle. Maryland has struggled early on in ball game. They've been down 14 to nothing each of the last two games, so these early third down conversions will be big. Heavy formation. Saw him practicing this quarterback sneak yesterday. <laughs> it's become one of the most popular plays anywhere in football. Philadelphia Eagles. It's become the signature short yardage play all across the NFL and college football works again there. Sure feels pretty unstoppable. <laughs> Motion across the formation. Kim goes the other way, and this pass ball's incomplete. He's trying to find his tight end in Jalen Franklin. Kim from shotgun, hands it to Carter, trying to gain that edge and unable to. He runs into a group of Terps over there, and they get him on the ground. That's a good Not look a at Trader and company. Yeah, Jack, that's a good look at that Maryland speed right there. When you run east and west, like Michigan State did right there. You might be playing right into the hands of this Maryland team. They're fast. They can run sideline to sideline and they can make those kinds of plays. And now Michigan State finds himself in a third and 11 early on in this ball game. Two receivers to either side of Ken. Flushed. Eyes downfield and fires just across midfield. They're going to say this pass is caught. And that is Foster. Right, wanting to extend the play. Big the pace here. This is intercepted as Cam was right up on the line and threw this football straight into the arms of Bo Braid, who brings it back into Michigan State territory. So they want to play with pace, especially after first downs, and this time it bites them. Braid, Dante Trader said they're the leaders of this defense. They handle all the communication, getting the job done to start this game. Tonga Bailoa trying to set up the screen. And that ball's incomplete. They he's been the leader of this program the last few years, and he's just a dynamic player, both with his feet and his arm. Tonga Bailoa back to the air. This time it's Prather, tall wide receiver. In this ball game, Antoine Littleton in right next to Talia. Third and two, give it to their power runner, and Antoine Littleton able to pick up that first down. And that's exactly what they want to do with Littleton. He's, he's a big man. He's 230 pounds. We'll get into his story as this thing goes, but perfect for that situation. Maryland wins the line of scrimmage. Big number seven running over people for the first down. Said he was a youth football legend there in Maryland. 290 pounds he was when he arrived on campus. Hard to believe they go back to him here, and Littleton this time is met and dropped. That's Derek Harmon. He lost 70 pounds because he wanted to play running back. And Mike Lotsky told us, hey, you know, he can want to play running back. He has the feet and the athleticism, but he has to measure up with the other runners. And he took it seriously. And it was a group effort to get that weight off of him. And he's a big part of this one-two punch run of the football for Maryland. Second and eight, Tonga Bailoa outside has another completion. Smooth start for them offensively. And this time it's his tight end, Corey Deitches who gets the job done. We're lucky to have him. Gain of 11 for Deitches. Now back to the air, firing towards the end zone. This is a great play made defensively. Coming over the top right there, and it's Chance Rucker. Rucker to knock the ball away without hitting the man. Big time breakup. Back to the air, tumbled by Lowe, flush. There he goes. Escape the pass rush, something he does so well. Now has a completion to Prather. Not going to gain much yardage, bring up a third and long. See those third down numbers so far in the season. Call a third and eight. Tonga by Loa to pass. Has that slant route inside the five yard line. Nice completion here. That's Ty Felton with the grab. Got the big people in the game. So do. Antoine Littleton, the tailback. Instead, it's this play action and in for the touchdown. 
goes Grela. Out there in the fat, flat, finds Greeley. That was pretty good fake there by Tonga Vailo. It sure was. Put the three tight ends in the ball game here. There's two of them there, one of them there. You put the big guy number seven. Littleton right in the middle of the defense. Talia pulls the ball. Nobody there for Greeley. Like the call on first down. Play action with big personnel on first down. Hard for the defense to stop it. And this extra point is good from Jack House. Named him a game day captain as well. Was a lead blocker on that play. Instead gets the football and the touchdown. It's Tyrell Henry in the return game and unable to make it out to the 20. speed as he's able to gain that edge and pick up about nine yards there on the keeper. That's Gote who made the tackle. That's the second time early on in this ball game we've seen Kim's athleticism. He pulls the ball himself this time. It's a quarterback design run. He captures the edge. We saw him on the scramble. You see him on the quarterback design run. He's a sneaky good athlete. Second and one. Back to the ground game, it's Nate Carter, and Carter is able to pick up that first down before a group of Maryland defenders brings him to the ground. They got to stay on the field. They got to answer on this drive. From the pistol, Kim fakes it to his running back and Carter, he is brought down for the sack. Caleb Wheatland shot into the backfield. Nobody got a hand on him. And then he gets to Kim. Loss of 11. Now it's second and 20. Back to the air. And this time it is Kim. Big hit put on there. That's Dante Trader in coverage with the shot on Jalen Franklin. The tight end got that ball loose. Third and 20. Kim. Flush from the pocket. Now has a couple of receivers <laughs> in the same area, and one of them able to come up with it. Not exactly sure who he's throwing that football to, but it's Foster that comes down with the football. As both of his receivers crossed exactly where he threw it. That's Gavin Gibson in coverage. One more time. This time Kim extends the play by going left. Backs up, keeps the eyes down the field, and I kind of agree with you. I think Foster did a good job stepping in front of that ball and making the play. Looked like it was intended for Glover. That ball's in the air, go get it. Nice job by Foster, going for it here in fourth and two. Fourth and two, wanted to be aggressive in this game. Up to the line, hand it off, and they're gonna have that first down. So how about that for Harlan Barnett? Being in a new role as a head coach, those are your decisions. And uh, no doubt he came in with the mindset that we're gonna be aggressive early on in those fourth down situations. They cashed in on it. Now Kemp. Drops the pass, hits his big tight end. This is Malik Carr, ran a great route on Dante Trader. Got that space and got the football. They're a long way from that third and 20, aren't they? They sure are. Back in the pistol. Here goes Carter, trying the right side of that Maryland defense. And maybe got three. Back up on the football, playing with that pace. Carter, this time dashes through the line. Picks up another first down. Into the secondary he goes before Trader is involved in another play. And they're staying on the ball here. Give the ball to Carter. A big gain. They're right back at it. Now give it to him the other way. Back to Carter. Sparty's a roll. He goes airborne. Close to another first down. Mark him about a half yard short of that first down. Ran it left, ran it right. Now split the screen the outside. This is complete and down the sideline. There's a big hit put on there. That's Gote providing the shot down the sideline on Foster. Here they come again. Back to Carter. Can he gain the edge as a penalty marker flies here? And this is Gote who's starting to step up for the Terps defensively. Holding. 
Offense, number 19, 10-yard penalty, first down. Kent holding that one ball, flips it to his tight end, the tight end screen. This is Malik Carr. And they feel like he has NFL potential talking about Carr. Only had five catches on the year coming into the game already, an emphasis to get him more. Jordan Simmons in it running back. Give this ball to Simmons. And he is met right there at the line of scrimmage. That's Wheatland. Kim drops the pass. What's the scramble? Going to keep it himself. Trying to get to that goal line. Like the run, like the decision here by Harlan Barnett. Give your guys a chance. You made the fourth down early on the drive. Let's see if we can do it again. Bring Morris in motion. Hand it off. And this time, no, no, no. That's Gote in the backfield. He had three nice plays once they got down in the red zone. Bo Braid joining him to make the stop. Nowhere for Carter to run. I'll hand this off straight up the middle for Maryland. And maybe three yards there to get as this first quarter now comes to a conclusion. The second quarter backed up. Second and six for Tonga Bailoa. Drops the pass to the outside, has a completion here to Octavian Smith. And that's Chance Rucker, who is getting a lot of work in this first quarter now to start the second as well, the true freshman. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt they know that Chance Rucker is a freshman. They've gone after him a few times. If you remember, they tried to complete that post route in the end zone. Rucker was there for it. They came back and he was defending it's Felton in the slot. Number 52, 15 yard penalty from the end of the play. Automatic first down. Pressure look, turned by low on the roll. And this ball is incomplete. He's trying to find his tight end and Corey Deitches. It's a big penalty there for Michigan State and Harlan Barnett's talked about the importance of being disciplined it's not a disciplined play right there. Tonga by low. Firing opposite side of the field has a completion. This is Caden Prather. He's going to pick up that first down. He's working on Tatum. Dylan Tatum over there corner. Fake it to McDonald. Now Tonga by low, you're going to see some of his speed as he slides down. Still had a little room in front of him. That'd be some proud parents right there, huh? Tonga Vailoa, one more time, drops the pass with his parents looking on. He will pick up that first down. It's Rico Walker, his third tight end. It was to a center way back in the day. From the pistol, this is Colby McDonald. He is kind of the sleeper in this backfield. A lot of attention about Hemby, Littleton. You've seen both of those guys, but Colby McDonald is very productive. The junior, another product of Maryland. The football, it's a big part of what they do. One more time with McDonald. Breaks one tackle, makes a man miss. Now he has plenty of room out in front of him, and he is still on his feet as he takes it inside the 20. That's Dylan Tatum, who stopped him from going into the end zone. Giving him another opportunity here off the right Got side. Him here. More defenders pushing out of his way. A pick up four there. Keep this game manageable. Talia drops the pass right over the middle and threw a perfect ball to his running back and Roman Hemby and it went right through his arms. Dropped it. So now a third and six. Tonga by low looks over to the sideline for the call. Now Talia toward the end zone and this is Kyle for the touchdown. What a play it was. Tyrese Chambers diving for the touchdown grab. Big time throw and catch. 
for the Terps. Jack Howell send it deep to Tyrell Henry. And this is over. Henry's head. Still a lot of ball to be played, Jack. Sure is. <laughs> Especially with Sanders playing quarterback. 14 0 here. State back on offense has a completion to his running back and Nate Carter, and he is fighting out across the 30. So for Coach Barnett, he has been surrounded by greatness. He played safety at Michigan State, then he played in the NFL, coached by guys like Bill Belichick, Nick Saban. I like what he told us about becoming a GA at the age of 36, getting his first opportunity to get into coaching. Also, guys like Bill Parcells. How about Tony Dungy? And I had a chance to talk with Tony Dungy a bit this week about what his personality is like, and he was just so high on him, and, and this opportunity is now one more run straight into the teeth of this Maryland. Rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Maryland. Set up beautifully by their defense once again. Pressure look from Michigan State. Tongue to Bailoa right into that pressure. Just going to throw this football away right at the feet of his running back, Hemby. They're really hurting themselves. End around here. They get the reverse game going. The disastrous plays, turning the ball over, some big penalties that have helped Maryland. It's got to become a more disciplined football team. They want to compete against the Terps today. Maryland three for three on third down so far. From the by low with pressure coming. Steps up, delivers a great pass. It's Octavian Smith, and he is headed towards the 10 inside the 10, he takes it down to about the five yard line. So a couple touches there for Smith. Tonga Bailoa hands this football away down to the goal line. Did he get that ball across? They're gonna mark him just short there. Mark him right at about the half yard line. Antoine Littleton tackled. Tim looks like he just a little short a little early. on the ball, snap it and just push this thing across. It sure looks like he got in. No official ruling yet on the field. Had penalty markers fly right there at the snap as Maryland tried to get up and right on the football. There are two fouls on the defense. Offside defense, illegal substitution defense. The penalties have declined. The results of the play, touchdown. Well, Jack Howe's on for the extra point. This extra point is good. Called for. Michigan State's playing with effort. They're just not playing with enough discipline. Try to get the ground game going here. This is Nate Carter. Pick up three, maybe four yards there on first down. Two key penalties, two turnovers, sacked once, two other tackles for loss. So there has been some miscues for Michigan State. Now Kemp drops. Fires one of the outside. Nice completion here. Now down the sideline they go. This is Foster with the football. Big time play for the Spartans there. And they're going to say that he stepped out there as he tried to turn it up the sideline. Mark him about the 38 yard line. So they bring that football back. Keep the first down. Now Kemp, back to the air. Just had to get rid of that football. Contact was coming in his face right there. But down the sideline it went. And there is another penalty down the field. Pressure was being brought by Dante Trader Jr. Pass interference. Defense, number six, 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That penalty brings him inside Maryland territory. First and 10. Kemp pressured once again. Completes this to Nate Carter, who's running back. And Carter goes inside the 40. Kim, 9 for 12, 101 yards in the pick. Second and one, hands it off. Carter, straight up the middle, trying to just battle for it and go get that first down. He is close to that line to gain. Been a good drive so far. Gavin Morris across the formation in motion. Give the ball to Carter, and a nice hole opens up there. So they're starting to get one of their best offensive players moving here. And Nate Carter. Yeah. 
from the pistol. Kemp hands it off. Here goes Carter. Lead blockers out in front. He is running hard. That's something they liked about him. Now Kemp back to the air. Fired downfield. Looked like a decent ball. Spending time in that weight room for both those guys. Kemp flips it out. This is Nate Carter. Flushed on the roll, fires it down the sidelines, and that ball came out. Roll right out of his arms. See if he can turn the tide a little bit. Jonathan Kim from 37 yards away, and they had a lot of issues in that kicking game a season ago as a penalty marker flies here. Running into the kicker, defense number 12. Pilly is declined, the score is good. Timeout. They could use him here right about now, couldn't they? Kick off return here, Wozlowski. Then the difference in this first half. Start with the ground game here, and this is Hemby, and Hemby is stopped immediately by Cal Holliday. Second and 12. Tonga by Loa, complete over to the outside. Pick up a little of that yardage that was lost. Time it's knots. I think he was right. Third and eight, and a penalty marker is in the air. False start. Offense number 52. Five yard penalty. Third down. It's on the Vailoa. Wants to get that call from the sideline. Third and 13. Talia drops. You see his mobility now as he breaks loose and is going to head towards that sideline. It's the first punt by either team in this game. Tyrell Henry is back deep. Now a penalty marker flies after the Colton Spangler punt. During the kick, holding, receiving team number 21, 10-yard penalty from the end of the kick, first down. as he takes this football wisely. As he's over there telling the story now. Noah Kim, back to pass, has a completion here right over that first down line. Kim firing toward the boundary, and that goes out of bounds, looking for Foster. Kim. Pressure complete directly over the ball there. Done some of their best work offensively, just getting on the ball and snapping it again. Here's Kim taking his time, has plenty of time, and now has another completion. Play action for Kim. Pressure in his face, rolling to his left. Penalty markers fly. Holding offense number 54. 10-yard penalty, first down. Keep being aware of the situation here. 35 seconds, you got two timeouts. Kim back to the air, and this is incomplete. He took a shot there. That's Barham. Kim flushed. Keeps those eyes downfield and throws toward the sideline. Kim. Firing, has his tight end, and that football was bobbled and then dropped. Had a big opportunity with Jalen Franklin. And Ken is firing wow. ball right down the middle of the defense. And defenders with an opportunity for an interception. Smash. Defense number 40. Wow. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Can't get stuck with the ball. Kim drops the pass, firing down there toward the end zone, and one more opportunity straight through the hands of an intended target. And Noah Kim's giving them some great opportunities. For the touchdown before the break. Instead, here comes Jonathan Kim. Oh. 
And that is not pretty there for Michigan State as that ball is tipped. And now it's going to dive on it. You hear the crowd, but that is not going to be a touchdown. Through the air on the ground, and this time Tonga Bailoa looked left back to his right, and just throws this football out of bounds over the head of Ty Felton. And Maryland, on the other hand, had just simply taken advantage of those. When they've gotten a takeaway, gotten a short field, they cashed it in. That's the difference in the game. Shotgun look, Tonga Bailoa firing down the sideline. And just trying to drop this over the top. State able to force a third and ten, see if they can get off the field defensively. Tonga Bailoa, pressure in his face, escapes it. Now Tonga Bailoa is just going to get rid of it, throw it out of bounds. Colton Spangler on to punt. This is Tyrell Henry. Back deep here. See, it's a fake punt. On the run goes Spangler. He has some speed, and he's going to pick up that first down. Maryland keeps the ball on the stat sheet, but that's what it is. They got off the field, and somehow Maryland maintains the possession, and they keep rolling. Tonga by Loa, penalty markers fly, and this pass for Tonga by Loa. Right here. Defense number 52. The penalty is declined. The results of the play, first down. You notice quickly, Talia just throws a great deep ball. Done that consistently throughout the year. Come to Loa now. One more floating this down toward the end zone and out of bounds. Now second and ten from the pistol. Come to Loa gives Hemby. And Hemby is dropped right there at the line. Had it jumped again. No penalty markers fly. Tonga by Lowe lets it go toward the end zone. Chance for an interception there. Just dropped it. Spencer caught playing the man. Doesn't see the ball. Missed opportunity for the Spartans. Now Jack Howells. And this attempt is no good. It was a drifter as soon as it left his toe. is Nate Carter here dashing into the secondary and picking up the first down. Able to force that field goal miss, give their offense an opportunity. Trader eventually made the tackle. Harlan Barnett played here, has coached here for a long time, and he feels like he knows the culture here at Michigan State. Now Kim on the roll, and this pass is intercepted. Able to come down with it, it's Glendon Miller. That's Kim's third interception this year. And it all straight up the middle. Antoine Littleton. and going vertical here. Nice hurdle is Preston Howard. will take about a yard shy. Tonga Bailoa back to the air. Slant route. Caught inside the 10 goes Ty Felton. From the pistol, straight up the middle, Antoine Littleton. McDonald into the backfield. And the football his direction, and McDonald trying that right side. And not much room for him to operate. Keep Colby McDonald in the game. A tailback.
Talia drops, pressured immediately, makes him look bad. Now he's moving to his right, firing towards the end zone. And was that ball intercepted? They're going to say yes. Picked off by Angelo Gross right there at the back of the end zone. Tunga Vailoa may be trying to do a little too much. Hand it off. Nate Carter. Up on the line, same looking play that we have seen from them. A little quarterback sneak plus the push. Been effective for Michigan State so far. And again, they're on the ball trying to use tempo. Sometimes they go really fast. Sometimes they get on the ball and just want to control the pace of the game. And they go at their own pace. Here's play action. Play action for Kim. Down the middle of the defense and has a target complete. That's Jerron Glover. And giving the quarterback a place to throw it. Here's play action one more time. Gain a 33. Now Kim on the roll. Got him. Directing traffic downfield. And was that ball intercepted? They say no. Kim, right across the field there. That's Trey Mosley for a completion. Lyndon Miller made the tackle and slow back up to his feet here is Mosley. And Mosley is now getting some attention. Third and three. Kim gives, run it. Here goes Nate Carter straight into the secondary and down to about the 10 yard line. That's Dante Trader who eventually made the stop. Up on the ball after the big third down conversion. Give it to Carter again. Hole doesn't open up quite the same way. This time in the front of Maryland. Getting the ball to Carter, taking advantage of it. Now Michigan State slowing it down a little bit. Again, trying to control the tempo different ways. He's got him. Second and goal. Kim toward the end zone and caught for the touchdown. They finally get themselves a touchdown. It's Tyrell Henry. And they're going to go for two here. 21-9 game. Offense immediately stays on the field. Kim firing. Toward his big target out there, a wide receiver, and Christian Fitzpatrick, the Tar Heap still with a great play in coverage. They work hard all week. I think it's great, great decision by Harlan Barnett, and the team has responded. Give it to Hemby, and this Michigan State defense has given the team light. And this all straight up the middle. And one more stop to this defense. It's Derek Harmon. The Michigan State get one more stop. Pressure look. Off the corner, and this throw is high and falls incomplete. Giving Michigan State an opportunity to get off the field. And this time, Colton Spangler does actually punt. And it's a pretty good punt as it rolls there inside the 20. How can Noah Kim put together another drive here offensively? Kim takes, keeps it himself. See some of his moves there as he just gives himself up. And for Kim, 65 yards in the first half, already 136 in this second half through the air. Now Kim trying to set up a screen here, and that was read beautifully. Kim, clean drop, oh. firing downfield, has oh. his receiver and just let him too far. He's looking for Foster. Make sure he gives Foster an opportunity there. That's a touchdown chance. Could have made this thing 21 to 16. That Missed out. O'Shaughnessy's high punt and a fair catch called for. Tonga by low, flips it out. Hemby with the grab. And Hemby crosses the 35. 
Salia hands it off. Littleton. And Littleton, the power running back option. It's an example of it right there. Another completion here. The outside, Prather. First and 10, hand it off, and Hemby is tripped up as he crosses that line of scrimmage. Second and nine, Tungle by low, pressured immediately, rolls out and tries to get the football into the hands of his running back, and Hemby is just a little too high there. And Maryland has been struggling on third down here recently. Third and nine. Tonga by Loa fires the wobbly pass coming out of his hand. Strange. Strangely just floated up in the air. Tatum was over there. Thought he had an opportunity for a pick and was just a tick late or he might have had it. He's right there, almost a near interception for Michigan State. Colton Spangler on to punt. It's a backspin on this thing. It's a good looking punt. The coverage team is there. They're all over it, just slipping down. And what a golden opportunity that just slips right through their fingertips. So now Michigan State offense comes back out about through another pick. Just drifted up in the air, Dante Trader. Opportunity to get his hands underneath, but just missed. Yeah, sure are. Almost had an interception right there. Kim, flip it out. Get this football in the hands of their top target. And Trey Mosley, Bo Braid. Chance. With some pace up to line. Snap it. This football comes out. It's loose. Ball is still on the ground here. Michigan State offensive line battling for it, trying to dive on top. It appears they were able to. Pressure put on there by Fuller, and you see Noah Kim. He's shaking up, limping his way back over toward the sideline. Michigan State got a break there. Michael O'Shaughnessy on to punt, and it is a wobbly punt, and this is going to take a very unfriendly bounce for Michigan State. You hear the crowd. They can't believe it. Just turned straight backwards. Empty set, flip this football out to Prather. And Prather gets positive yards, maybe three, four yards. Maryland's in field goal range here. You just don't want to go backwards in this situation. Talia's got to be a good decision maker. Talia just hands this football off. It's Colby McDonald. He lost his footing, just slipped down. Oh, Holiday there to tag him down. Opportunity here for a 48 yarder. Jack Howells. And this kick is good. In that ball game, it'll be fun to watch. This is Tyrell Henry. He has some jets. Oh, a penalty marker is launched into the air. This one may be coming back. Tyrell Henry, though, found a crease. It may have been some assistance that was illegal. During the return, holding. Receiving team number 19, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. Fouls are backed up. A little flea flicker to get him welcome into this game. And this throw is just skipped towards Montori Foster. How about that start? Well, different thoughts about getting a quarterback into a game. I don't know that I've ever seen a flea flicker on the on the first play in the shadow of your own goal post, but hey, why not? Get all those Maryland Terrapins around the line of scrimmage, maybe get a one-on-one -on -one look outside. 
Maryland was ready for it. Second and ten. Back to the air for Hauser. Hauser to the outside. This is Malik Carr finally getting their big tight end back involved in this game plan. Flip it to the outside, and there is nothing doing here. Daquan Shepard. We're giving Hauser an opportunity, and we didn't know specifically when they made make a quarterback change or rotate quarterbacks throughout this game, but they were pretty clear. Jay Johnson, offensive coordinator, saying that he did want to see Hauser at some point in this game. In the fourth quarter, here he goes. Caton, and Caton is pressure, and Caton is direct. Big sack for the Terps. Third Maryland sack. Now Hauser has a completion. Nice throw there. You see that right arm of his has a completion to Tyrell Henry on a rope. Hands it off, trying to go straight up the middle. A little second effort there, and it appears that is a first down. Nate Carter stopped initially, kept the legs moving. And on fourth and two, the chains move. Hauser setting up a screen, just oh, trying to flip it oh. to his running back. And Nate Carter, it's a great idea, great concept. It was set up beautifully. Execution, not so much. It was a big wall, missed chance for the Spartans. Hauser delivers, and just outside the reach of Christian Fitzpatrick, redshirt junior. Four out of 11 on third down. Hauser drops, delivers, and this pass is caught. Once again, a call for the wide receiver right there in the same spot. It's Antonio Gates Jr. That name may sound familiar. Hauser pressured, gets this ball out, has another completion here. And it's his tight end, Malik Carr, with the grab. So Hauser bringing a little life to the offense. Hippolyte makes the tackle. Hauser setting up the screen. Get it back to Carr. And Carr worked in the middle of that Maryland defense after he caught it. They like getting him the ball in the screen game. Seen that a time or two before. Came out of the stack, chased it down. Looks like he got the side of his helmet. Now Hauser firing towards the end zone. His receiver's falling down, and penalty markers fly. Nice job of coming back to the football there. Antonio Gates Jr. Jaquan Shepard in coverage, and he appears to be the guilty party. Defense, number three, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. As Peyton Hauser checks in, taking him down the field. Hauser trying to set up uh. the screen and right on cue. It's intercepted. Still with the football, and he is still on his feet. As he crosses midfield, now trying to cut it back. Blockers out in uh. front. And Tarheeb still falls down to the ground as he goes inside the 20, and he is exhausted. And this is Antoine Littleton. It's one thing to have a message. you got to be able to take it to the ball game. It's killed Michigan State today. Tunga by low, complete to the outside. This is Caden Prather. Third down and two. Tonga Vailoa is going to keep it himself over the left side. Great little fake. And then he's able to gain that edge and take that ball out of bounds. They're going to still hit him. They hit him late. Penalty markers fly at the conclusion. Personal foul. Late hit out of bounds. Defense number 43. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Well, they switch it, take it into the pistol. Hands it off. This is Hemby over the left side, and no room to run. Tonga by Loa, hands it off. Now a third and four for Tonga by Loa. He's going to keep it himself. 
Slide down, he may have slid a little too early there, and Thank he knows did. it. Slid, they're gonna mark him right where that slide begins, and it's gonna set up a fourth down. Mom and dad watching on, fourth and one, and they momentarily will keep the offense out there prior to this timeout. So a fourth and one, and Tonga Bailoa remains out there on the field after the timeout. Flip this football out, and they will have it's that over. first down and more. Octavian Smith in for the touchdown. Tonga Bailoa now three touchdowns through the air. Also had that quarterback sneak. Howes sends this deep to Alante Brown, and he will bring this out. He crosses the 15, and he lost that football. Ball came out. And it just gets even more painful here for Michigan State as Maryland recovers right there at the 21. My goodness. Freshman trying to get some reps here as this fourth quarter winds down. Levitt drops, has a completion, 